babies and welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit that red subscribe button join the brookie baby gang because the brookie babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too so you guys i'm super excited to be coming back with another video and another vlog but before we get into today's video we do have a sponsorship as you guys can see i have this big box right here from caraway shout out to caraway for sponsoring today's video now if you don't know about caraway and their cookware sets don't feel bad girl that's what i'm here for that's what i'm here for okay your girl brooke kennedy is about to put you on so they sent me this beautiful four piece cookware set and i know it's beautiful y'all because i picked out color i know what it looks like i'm excited to get inside i'm excited to show you guys what they sent over i'm gonna tell you about these pots why you should get them and you're gonna see the bum organization kit or set that comes with it y'all you need this you need this so we're gonna go ahead and get into this box so y'all can see the pots and everything else that comes with it because this is not your traditional pot set girl trust me you are going to want to order this thing once you see it so let me shut up because y'all know i can talk and let's go ahead and get straight into the package all right bricky baby so let's go ahead and get into the box now the aesthetics they were on point i definitely love how it came just so neat and put together so the first thing you see as soon as you open your box is your four pots I went with the color gray because if you know, my home is neutral, but they have tons of other beautiful colors for you to pick from to complement your kitchen. So you're basically going to receive two pots and two pans. The first pan that I'm going to show you is the saute pan. This one right here is going to be perfect for like your vegetables or your heavy whipping creams, like your Cajun pastas, things like that. Then next you're going to have your frying pan, which is going to be perfect for like breakfast girl, put your eggs in here. But y'all, look at how beautiful the pan is. Like look at the stainless steel. Come on now. Come on. Come on. And then next you're going to have your Dutch oven, which is a very large pot. It is heavy, but this one right here can go in the oven up to like 500 degrees, which is a bonus. And then last you're going to have your saucepan, which is going to be perfect for like making your honey glaze sauce or things like that to go over like your salmons or whatever meal that you're cooking. Now y'all, this is where Caraway took it to the next level. These cookware sets come with organizers, okay? And it is magnetic. This is the perfect perfect way to put your pots together to give it that very minimalistic neat and just clean space I mean who doesn't love that now on top of receiving your magnetic organizers for the pots and pans you're also going to receive your lids of course but you're going to receive a linen lid organizer that is perfect for your cabinet doors so along with receiving your lid organizer you're going to receive two of these little stickies and trust me they are super super durable perfect y'all i didn't trust it at first i was like listen these lids are a little heavy is this going to hold it but girl it holds the lids and it is perfect because you already got to figure out where to put the pots the most annoying thing is trying to figure out where to put the lid and that right there, y'all, had your girl sold. So definitely make sure to check out Caraway. They are a great investment for your kitchen. And they are healthy because these pots are not only 100% non-stick, but they also are 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware. So definitely make sure to get your hands on these. Pick your beautiful color to complement your kitchen. Know that your organizer sets are going to come at no additional cost. You're also going to receive a booklet that will show you exactly how to take care of your pots so we can keep them in the best condition ever and last you're also going to receive two pot placements that are going to be perfect for your countertops that way you don't cause any damage to them so definitely make sure y'all check out caraway now babies hold on real quick i'm finna show y'all i had to show y'all how to give you a little slow-mo look at that oh chef's kiss baby so neat so clean and then the lids are just so put together and out of the way you need this cookware set all right, baby. So with that being said, make sure you guys check out Caraway. Don't forget to check my description box. There will be a link that will take you directly to the website where you will receive 10% off of your purchase. Once again, thank you so much, Caraway, for sponsoring today's video and partnering with your girl, Brooke Kennedy. 
All right, Bridget Babies, let's get into the vlog. welcome back to another vlog if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit that red subscribe button join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too y'all you know how you talking and you can feel a burp coming but it don't want to come so you try to hurry up and get out what you gotta say that's that's what i just went through i'm like oh i gotta burp i gotta burp i gotta burp but happy sunday you guys it's sunday it's june 5th sunday june 5th um, as you guys saw um, yesterday, I actually started the vlog yesterday, but when I finished getting my lashes done, I can't even remember the order of things I did. I think it's when I finished getting my lashes done. No, because after I got my lashes done, I think I went to Bath and Body Works. And then I think I went home and that was it. Yes, yes. So after I ran errands after getting my lashes done, I came home and I had to finish editing the vlog that dropped before this one. So... I never picked the camera back up and it's Sunday, it's five o'clock. I am chilling and one of my subscribers, I actually have to video call her and her father just wrote me and told me that they are available so I can call at any time. I'm about to prop you guys up and we're gonna give her a call and hopefully make her day. I look a mess, but I'm the baby girl. <laughs> You're a brookie baby, so you have seen Brooke Kennedy, dressed up, dressed down. You know what I can do. Y'all are family. If I FaceTime you and you catch me with makeup on, you catch me with makeup on. If I FaceTime you without makeup, you we're family here. We ain't no strangers. We we friends, but we more we more like family. We we family over here. We're family. So girl, what's up? It's Sunday. I'm chilling in the house. I'm about to call. And y'all, I'm straight in the house looking a whole mess. Like, I don't look too bad, do I, y'all? Should I call like this or should I? Let's see. Oh my hair. Girl, this is the famous pinup. This is in the house chilling. Girl, this is the this is the football mom. I'm at football practice. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. Let's make this call and see how it goes. I'm nervous. <laughs> Hello. Oh, um, hey, hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you, babe. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> hey, girl. It's Brooke Kennedy. I'm on the How are you? You I'm can't. Good. How are you? I'm good. You can't believe it, can you? Look, I feel so bad. I was supposed to meet you in person and I didn't open the message. I know. I was gonna meet you at that. I think y'all were gonna be there. It was oh like Yeah. I feel so bad. <laughs> so bad. Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? That's your mom? Oh my god. Ooh, mama look good, girl. Y'all twins. <laughs> Uh-oh, hold on, you froze for a 
for a minute. You'll come back. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, y'all are back now. It may be my connection. The weather's bad. <laughs> okay, so we got to make that happen. When Kevin gets back, we will try to meet. Oh, my God. Okay. We'll, we'll make that happen. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, my auntie, my auntie, she put me on to you like I was getting ready to turn 21. And I'm oh. 21 now, so. Happy birthday, Grace. Oh, I love it. A little drinky oh, drink. Hey. <laughs> A little margarita. You can have one margarita. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, thank you, Shout out to Daddy. Hats off. Thank you, Dad. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, bro. You're you welcome. So and thank you. Thank you all. Thank y'all so much. I love you guys. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. Y'all have a good day. All right. You too. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, Y'all, I love them. Cece. Hey, Cece, girl. Yeah, we got to make that happen. When Kevin get back, we got to make that happen because that would be very, very nice. So, that was cool, y'all. I like that so much. Shout out to her dad. Shout out to her dad and her mom for setting that up. <sighs> that was my first time ever doing that. I've seen YouTubers do that before and I always thought that was so cool. The ones that actually do it, like I thought that was so cool because you just make people day and all it takes is five minutes. Five minutes. That's all. That's all. I love when people do it for birthdays, anniversaries, just random calls like that. Like, this is what I do this for. This is what I do this for to make people feel good. That's all. That's all. People say what you want to get out of YouTube. That's it. To make a person feel good because I like what I feel good. And she said I made her day. And CC, if you're watching this girl, I love you, girl. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being a bricky baby. And but yeah, y'all. So. I'm going to show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works. Hold on. I'm show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works on yesterday. I don't no business up in there. But I'm going to. That just put me in such a good mood. That's why they say like give off my lips dry. That's why they say give off. Um, Cece was my lips dry on their camera. Because I know I was already looking crusty. Because I got to like girl. <laughs> what do I be doing? But anyways, um, oh my God, I hope my lips don't look at that crush. But I went to um, Bath and Body Works. They have no business getting this stuff. But I blame Gina and I blame Taja, okay? Because I was watching Gina's vlog. Let me set y'all down because my arm be hurt. Okay. Do y'all have friends y'all talk to every day on the phone? I have two friends I talk to every day on the phone. And it's almost like something is wrong if we don't talk every day. We both almost feel some type of way. The longest we can go is probably five days without talking to each other. And we're going to call each other and be like, what you been doing? You all right? You straight? But anyways, so I blame Taja and Gina for this because I didn't need to be sending no money yesterday. But I was watching both of their vlogs. On the same day, or I was either watching Gina vlog one evening, and then the next day I watched Taja vlog to catch up. So Taja was talking about this candle. They got a new candle, and I'm actually gonna burn it. That's why I'm excited to open it up. Now y'all know me. I love, 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 love for my house to smell like fresh linen. That's it. I like my house to smell like clean clothes. I don't want fruity smells. I don't want super sweet smells if it's the most probably sweet and light but still clean is champagne toast and watermelon lemonade that's pretty much it oh and island margarita but it still gives off like a clean smell you know it's just not like super sweet and fruity because at the same time i try to keep the house unisex from the decor to the silverware to the candles like i just you know i gotta it's not just mine it's my husband i don't want him to feel like the type of husband i got he he'll say something eventually but it'll take forever to say something girl shut up and stop right but like i'm saying y'all know i like to have my house smelling like linen like linen that's that's fresh wash clothes i feel like it's the best and if you struggle with headaches or migraines um 
linen is not gonna bother you at all okay so in terms of the vlog she was talking about this candle and she was saying that it smells really really good like fresh linen and it does like okay so the linen they have like a linen spray right so i did get the i'm all over the place because i'm excited i'm in a good mood that call just makes me feel so good and i don't get hyper and i get acting like a fool so um they actually had the sun drench in the the room fragrance spray so let me show you this is the room fragrance spray i don't even know if y'all still can see that because i feel like i'm like dumb bright right now but this is the candle this is the candle okay so they also have a regular linen not the sun drench but the regular linen but this one right here smells very similar to the linen but it's like on another level i would say you know what this smells like this smells like bed this smells like this smells like good night they should have named it good night because this smells like good night and you took a melatonin y'all this smells like if i say that word one more time number two this smells like <laughs> fresh linen clothes and dove original soap the blue box the blue and white the original one the one that all our grandmas used to use if it wasn't dial or ivory they wanted to put a little more in there that original dove girl oh my god if it burned the way it smelled so i got three of these okay so that's what i got then i went and purchased i've never tried and i also blame my mama i've never tried bath and body works plugs right because i do have an issue with catching like headaches and migraines real quick if i smell stuff like my husband he cannot put on his cologne like right before we go out it just lingers too much men cologne is very strong for me so i tell him to like you know get out the shower man go ahead and spray it spray it on your clothes let it kind of sit and marinate a little bit and then it'll be kind of calm but if it's just too loud it's just too loud girl i have a whole headache so my mom has these and it smells amazing in there but the way my mama house be smelling and then on top of that gina talked about it in her last vlog that it's really good for smaller places like the bathrooms and i don't know but i if anything needs to smell good my whole house needs to smell good but the bathrooms we all know after a week we, we need to be cleaning our bathrooms constantly but i don't like a fresh smell like a pipe smell i don't like none of that so i constantly like try to clean my pipes out constantly clean my shower like i bathroom has to smell good bathroom should smell good so i picked up these um i don't know if you can use the same ones that go in like the little air wicks i just picked up the little matching ones i got five of these and four of the little wall things and the smell that i got was cozy linen so i decided to go with cozy linen because like i said my whole house smells like linen i was scared to get something that may be too strong and linger into our master bedroom so i'm gonna put these only in the bathrooms that's what i'm always gonna do i'm always put them in the bathrooms and i will keep everything else uh i will keep air wicks in all the other spaces just so it won't be too strong but yeah y'all that's what i got and then i got three of these i know i showed it already the little room fragrance spray but i got three of those so let's see and you don't have to spray a lot because this stuff is strong mm, baby so good. but i'm about to um about to take me a little picture and go set these up light me a candle probably watch a movie i'm gonna get on netflix i have never y'all don't judge me if y'all have watched this but i have never watched p valley so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try to get into p valley to see if i like that because i don't know what people be talking about when they be like we ain't at the pink tonight like what so i'm about to try to get into p valley that smells so daggone good i'm not kidding please get this room fragrance spray if this candle burn like this fragrance spray we in the game baby but yeah y'all i'm gonna take a little picture of this you know 
shout out the ones I was influenced by. Show them some love. And uh, yeah, I'll probably check in with y'all later. I don't know if I'm going to cook tonight. If I do, I'm going to make some salmon. And you know I'm going to do the honey glazed salmon over it or the honey glazed sauce over it. If I do cook that tonight, if I do cook that tonight, I'm going to go like in detail on how I make the glaze. I'm not going to just show you B-roll. I'm going to talk you guys through it and show you what I do. So this minute has been, this clip has been 15 minutes. It's taken me 15 minutes to show y'all a daggone candle in some room fragrance space. That means I talk too much, but I'm in such a good mood, like I said. And yeah. Okay, bye. Hey baby, so it is later and I'm about to cook dinner. As I mentioned earlier, I am making the salmon, honey glazed salmon. Um, I don't know, do I have, oh gosh, hold on y'all. Mm. So y'all, I don't have any rusted potatoes. And I have sweet potatoes, but I don't want sweet potatoes. I don't really... Okay, so I have... Oh, this sucks. Okay. So I got red potatoes. I have sweet potatoes. And instant potatoes, and I don't want those. I wanted rustic potatoes to go with this meal. Maybe I have to, I'll just have to do yellow rice. I have to do yellow rice. But y'all, let me show y'all this. This is so random, right? But I have this cookbook and it's in my kitchen. And for, to be honest, I got it for decoration, especially to match my decor before I like switched up everything a while back. I got this like, this was in my very first, this was in my fully furnished home decor tour, home tour. Um, but I got it to match my kitchen, but I realized like it's so many great recipes in here. And I switched the page today just to have this one for a little while. But I actually want to try to make this. It's a salsa bacon burger with guacamole. I love guacamole and it just looks really good. Like look at that y'all one more time. Doesn't that look good? So we may make this sometime this week. Or I may make this on Saturday, but this sounds really, really good. Oh, you need taco seasoning. Ooh, I don't know y'all. I've never made guacamole, so this is so random, y'all here. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do yellow rice. Hopefully I got some asparagus. Let me check, because it's gonna not be a cook. Okay, thank you Jesus. I got some fresh asparagus in there. So I'm about to go ahead and prep everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything. I'm not gonna show all of that because y'all have seen me cook a thousand times. Even though I know y'all say y'all love like when I cook and showing it and I love it too, okay? It's just very relaxing. Like I cannot just talk throughout a whole vlog. I mean, I probably could. Actually, I could because I'd be talking a lot. But like, I just feel like, I just feel like at some point in the vlog, you need me to shut up and you need me to just give you some music and let you just sit back, relax, and watch something. I feel like it's therapeutic. So, am I wrong? Do y'all agree? I don't know, girl. But, um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I have updated you guys yet, but that sun-drenched linen candle and that room spray, girl. All right. So, we got our top three. We got top three. We, we going for five. Actually, we already probably got five. So the top ones that you need to have in your house is lava, island margarita, sun-drenched linen, and black bamboo. Black bamboo is the only one. No, black bamboo is the one you find at Target. Lava is TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. And island margarita and sun-drenched linen, Bath and Body Works. Right now, those are my top four. Top four because they all give that clean, just airy, just fresh smell. Your house just smells clean. It feels cozy. They're, they're not seasonal. I feel like you can burn those year round. Cause y'all know, if you know, you've been here a while. I'm not like a pumpkin spice or apple cinnamon. I don't like candles like that. I feel like they stink. The only seasonal candle that I love is, um, like a pine, like a fresh pine 
or like a tree something something like that around christmas time that smells really really good but anything like fruity mm -mm. but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything prepped start like getting in motion it's 7 25 i should be done with this meal at like 8 now yeah like 8 8 15 and then after that i'm gonna respond back to some more comments thank you guys for all the love and support under my last vlog i really appreciate it um but yeah so i'm gonna respond back to some comments and then it was something else i needed to do i don't know girl. so yeah let me go ahead and prep everything and then i'm gonna show y'all what i use it, you know the country girl way we ain't using no measuring cups and all that we finna eyeball it that's how i learned to cook so i'm gonna try to teach y'all through the same methods and yeah so i will show y'all when i'm using in like a second but for me it's gonna be like in a couple minutes you know <laughs> All right, Bricky Baby, so I have everything set up. Of course, first, you're gonna need you a nice little pot um, and some Pam spray or, you know, olive oil, whatever, so that your stuff doesn't stick and get all, you know, and you may not need that because this is a non-stick pan, so I really don't need that, but I do it anyway. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna wanna get you some salt. I use the Pink Salt, Great Value brand, whatever brand you wanna choose. Um, you're also gonna need some garlic powder you'll want to get some black pepper and of course some parsley flakes for one they just make the food look real good you're also going to need some honey okay i could have sworn i got a bigger bottle but this should be enough because i'm only doing three pieces of salmon then you're going to need either a fresh lemon or some lime juice next you want to get you some minced garlic um a stick of butter is better but i just have this big butter right here so i'm gonna use this and then this right here looks a hot mess but you're gonna need you some um you're gonna need some brown sugar give it a little sweetness and you'll either need you some cornstarch or flour i don't have any cornstarch but the flour and cornstarch is what's gonna make it a little thick like a sauce so what i do first is of course and I'm sorry that y'all can't see me, but if you want to see me, girl, you're going to see me in this vlog, okay? All over it. So you're going to spray your pan, and then you want to, of course, turn it on, let that warm up. I need to go ahead and put the salmon in the oven because it is ready. So what you want to do is let your pan warm up, all right? After the pan warms up, I'm going to come back because our first step is going to be butter, and then I'm just going to walk y'all through it. I feel stupid talking to y'all and y'all are looking at a daggone pot. So, I do want to say this. Be mindful and careful. Don't use a whole lot of seasonings. If you want to add different seasonings that I did, that's cool. That's perfect. Do whatever makes your food taste the way you like it. But keep in mind, the more seasonings you put in your sauce, can make it too salty depending on what you season your salmon with. So if you're gonna go heavy with the uh, sauce, don't go so heavy on the actual salmon when you're uh, seasoning it. Because what, what can happen is it ends up being too salty or doesn't taste right. And yeah, so you gotta kinda play around with it. Like I said, I didn't learn how to cook using like measuring cups and stuff. I just, you know, I grew up where my mom and her sisters and my grandma, they kinda just like eyeball everything. So. Some stuff you do gotta measure, like you just gotta measure, girl. But most part, like with Jiffy Cornbread, I literally have to measure how much buttermilk. You would think, girl, that's something you could just eyeball, but I can't, I have to measure because I gotta have that Jiffy Cornbread right. I cannot mess that up, okay? So yeah, I think that's getting warm. Yeah, it is, okay, let's do it. So the first thing we want to do, matter of fact, is there a way I could prop you guys up where you can kind of see into? Okay, so I take a good little spoon fill, right? Slide that right on in there. Let that melt down. Cause I don't need a lot. And you can always gauge it off of how many pieces of salmon. So the more salmon, the more you wanna load up on everything. The less salmon, the less you need to load up. So, I'm gonna stir that around and help it melt, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our honey. You're gonna use a lot of honey again. I am just eyeballing based off of how many pieces of salmon. So that's a good little bit. So 
So I'm gonna put that in there. Let that honey warm up. And it doesn't take long at all. But you want it to be super hot when you're getting when you're getting all of your ingredients in the pot. And then you want to turn it down and let it simmer once you have everything in. So next I like to go in with, I don't know if y'all can see that. We're gonna go in with some of the lemon juice. And I go around and go around. So almost like two times around. I'm gonna do almost like a half, a little half a whole teaspoon or teaspoon. Okay. All right. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings. And I, I call it a little sprinkle, baby, a little sprinkle. We start from the front of the pot to the back. And we just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Front to the back. Same thing with the black pepper. Okay. Of course, we just add in partially because it looks good and I just go right in the center. Do about, I don't know, what's that, about eight. Partially come out. This one comes out super slow. You want it sweet, so this is the big teaspoon. So I'm gonna add one if we're doing more than three pieces you need more and then we're gonna add some flour because we want to thicken it up a little bit and get us a little small scoop just like that stick that in there now as you can see it is bubbling right so it's on high so like, until you get all your ingredients in there you want to stir that up real good or whatever Make sure everything is stirred. It's gonna look funny, especially with the flour, cause it ends up looking really cakey, but you wanna make sure like you're stirring it very well. More so get you like a little whisk thing. I hate using these in my pots, cause they'll scratch it up. You need to get like a plastic or something. And you just wanna flip that up real good. Oh my God, my pot! Oh, I'm just gonna stir, girl. You my good pot. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this. We're gonna put it on low, let it do its thing for about maybe 10 minutes, and then it will thicken up and it'll be ready to go. And then you just pour it on your salmon. Okay, hopefully the steam. I just wanted to show y'all real quick what it looks like. I'm trying to get closer without it steaming up, but y'all see the thickness? It still has to thicken up a little bit. I'm about to turn it on super low. I switched it because I was doing a little story, you know, a little story clip. It looked better with this pot over here. But this is what it looks like, y'all. girl is in a good mood okay it's friday it's the weekend i had a good week and i'm about to link up with khadija and Brittany. so y'all know i'm excited finally getting out we are going to top crab one of my favorite spots in savannah okay it is so freaking good okay when i say good that seafood spot is so good the oysters the drinks 
the crab balls, everything, the fried shrimp, everything, even their wings. I've heard their wings are good. And I haven't had it, but trust me, baby, I believe it. So I went and got my nails done immediately after work. Girl, I was running around like a chicken, okay, on my lunch break. I did my makeup and I got dressed, got off work, freshened up my makeup. I'm I'm back oily because I had to wear a mask when I was getting my nails done, all of that. But here are my nails. I like them. I don't love them, but I like them. It's something about blue on my nails. I ain't crazy about blue. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the design. Maybe it's the design I picked or whatever. I don't know, girl, but it don't matter. Um, but yeah, I went and got my nails done. But y'all, so um Brittany, me and Brittany love the same body wash. Okay, we use the Olay. I've shown it to you guys several times, but me and her love the same body wash. We both use Olay. And it be out everywhere. So she went to like the Walmart on the other side of Savannah and she couldn't find it. And I'm like, girl, I got to pass by Target. So I'll run in Target. I done committed to getting my girl this body wash. But I got to tell y'all something. And this is a serious moment right now. Whenever these things happen, like all this stuff that's going on in the world, if you know, you know, whenever this stuff happen, my anxiety levels be so high. Okay. They be so high. Y'all, when I tell you I have not stepped foot in a grocery store, um a shopping store a mall target as much as i love target girl i have not been anywhere i'm just praying that i can go in here and i can get what i need and come out safe and have a good night so i'm about to run up in target and get this body wash but i've been sitting in this car y'all no cap i've been sitting in this car for 15 minutes like i'm dead serious i've been sitting in this car 15 minutes looking at every car seeing if i see something suspicious somebody sitting in their car looking weird or something like because it's something every day it's something every day so and i am that type of person where if i could be the hero i would be the hero but i'm about to see i should have went in with i should have went in with him because he looked like he bought that life and see i could I should have went in with him. All right, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it. I got this. Bring it, baby. So, oh, girl, I'm sorry. If I sound like I'm gonna run a whole marathon, but that's what it felt like. I got my friend at Body Wash. I got my Body Wash. I got some alcohol and some um, Dr. Bonner's tea tree. Tea tree soap. When I say, I wanted to go down that decor aisle so bad and go down that makeup aisle and baby look at them bathing suits and baby look at, but I said, not today, Jesus. I got to work my way up to it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I couldn't do it. But thank God I got in there, got what I needed and got out safely. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to Top Crab. I may vlog while I'm there. I don't know. I need my girls, I need to link up, I need to have a good time. So we'll see. Y'all, it be so hot and they got lucky in Georgia for no reason. But I made it. Oh, the sky look pretty better. I had to park in the back because it's so freaking deep. I don't know how we're gonna find somewhere to sit down. Khadija said she found a parking spot on the front. Let's see where she at. The original pancake house. Hmm, sounds good. May need to try that Monday. <laughs> Y'all, we at this little lounge. And they got the line. They got these folk waiting out here. No, and they gonna wait number 50 people in there. <laughs> we finna go to the cut line and say, how much the cut line is at Lama? Brookie babies, it's Sunday. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so hard. It's June 12th. The last time you guys saw me was Saturday. No, Friday. 
So Friday when I got back home from hanging out with the girls, I did not check back in with y'all. We had a good time. We had a lot of fun. But y'all, yesterday, I have gotten to the point now where I realize that I am closer to 30. I'm not 22, 23, 21. Like, I can't hang like I used to can hang. I can't go like I used to can go. I can't do it like that. I can't do it like that. If I'm going to be hungover, it's going to last all day until 5 o'clock the next day. So, everything that I had planned to do yesterday, I was not able to get it done. What I plan to do today, I'm not going to be able to get all of that done because, for one, I'm still tired. I don't feel that well, y'all. I don't know. I just... I feel tired and dehydrated. I need to drink a lot of water today. So I woke up this morning. I dropped my tea. I made my grocery list. I cleaned out the refrigerator. I cleaned out the pantry, you guys. Like I had like, I would say two trash bags of stuff. I just cleaned out everything, decluttered. And I made the grocery list. Y'all know. Y'all know the situation. I'm about to Instacart the groceries. Um, I did run out because I had to run by the store. And... I also got a smoothie, but I made breakfast this morning too. And it's like I just cannot get full. So, um, which I know that means I'm dehydrated. Whenever you are super hungry all the time, sometimes you're dehydrated. But yes, yeah, now I am back home. But y'all, let me tell y'all how crazy I am. Let me go get this package real quick. Hold on. All right, y'all. So let me tell you. Let me tell y'all how crazy I am. I look super tan and I look super like oily. <laughs> But anyway, let me tell y'all how crazy I am. So really, it's Kevin's fault. And I'm just going to blame it on Kevin because I know it's his fault. It's his fault. I could have sworn Kevin said that you're going to receive. Yes, he did because we talked about it this morning. I finally talked to him. He's out the field. So I remember when he was telling me about the anniversary gifts. He was like, you're going to get two boxes. If y'all remember, in the last vlog, I opened up two boxes. I opened up the flowers and the Fendi earrings. So, this morning, we were on the phone, and he was like, did you ever open up your other gift? And I'm like, what are you talking about? You said it was only two boxes. And he was like, yeah, that's right. And I said, there is no other gift. And he was like, yes, it is. It's supposed to be um, two packages for you and one package from him. Like, he's sending some of his stuff back home, so he has a big box that's supposed to come, which has already came. So, I'm like... What are you talking about? I opened two boxes, which was the flowers and the earrings. And then he was like, and I was like, and it's two boxes. I was like, didn't you say it was going to be two boxes for you? I was like, it's another box of there. And he was like, no, that other box. He was like, what does it say? So I go up there and I'm looking at it and I'm like, wait a minute. This is not like a <laughs> box from like out of the country. This is mine. Y'all, my dumb behind got a whole nother gift that's been sitting in this house for a week and a half. So I was supposed to open this on my anniversary and I did it. So that being said, we're gonna open up this other gift and see what it is. I mean, dang. I appreciate it, baby. I was I was happy. I was good. I was oh make sure y'all can see my injuries. Alright. Alright. Sure. I like be a nice graphic tee. It's so cute. Look at this. Ah! Can't go wrong with a graphic tee, baby. So that's one. Okay, y'all. Another shoe. Let's see what we got. I wanted these. Dang, I wanted these so bad. Ah! I wanted these so bad. And they match my... And they match my nails. Oh my gosh. Thank you, baby. What size is it now? Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven and kids, baby. So, shout out to my man. All right, Brittany, baby. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I'm going to take my vitamins, drink me some water, and go rest. I'm going to go ahead and cut this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I don't know if this is a long vlog. Girl, I'll be able to tell once I edit. I may not even end it here. I don't know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Before you head out, please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share the video, and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Join the Brookhead Baby gang. <laughs>
because <laughs> rookie babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one rookie baby